Hello folks, the purpose of this video is to share with you my experience of connecting and getting I2C devices working. Um, connecting them is usually fairly straightforward, VCC ground, clock and data, and connecting the devices and getting them is working, and getting them working is easy, isn't it? Right? Well, not in my experience. So what's the problem? Well, you generally, you if you're like me, you connect the device and it doesn't function, but you don't know why. Um, the, the first thing you need to counter is that the ESP devices can have unknown or often non-standard pins defined for data and clock. They do vary across the board manufacturers, the standard definitions, usually um, pin 5 and 4 for data and clock but I've got another board that uses pin 16 and 17. So finding out which pins are defined for data and clock can be difficult and time consuming. So what's the solution? Well, luckily with the SP8266 and 32, you can define which pins to be used. And you do that with why begin data and clock. And additionally, with the SP32, you can define the bus speed with those additional parameters of 100,000 or 400,000. OK, so you do that. You define your pins, pin 22 and 23 in my example here, but this, the device still doesn't work, typically. Um, why? Because libraries usually have an overriding statement of why begin, no parameters. And so your statement is ignored and solution is to get into your libraries and edit out wire begin statements. Here's an example from the Adafruit INA219 current sensor library. Wire begin ignores my statement uh, but if I comment out theirs it now works. So in summary when you're using the, an ESP device um, you need to remove any wire begin statements from supporting libraries, replace them with your own in your setup section of your program. And if you're using the ESP32 device, you can optionally slow down the bus speed to 100 kilohertz. Well, I hope you found that useful. That's the process I go through for getting um, a, an I2C device working with the ESP devices. Uh, enjoy.